What about, let's, let's go back to the very beginnings now, and your, uh, the, the, the meeting, this oh, meeting of Livingston and Stanley, uh, French and Saunders. You came together yeah. at, uh, famously at, uh, at uh, drama school, didn't you? Yeah. Um, now, I know that this uh, story's been off tour, but not by you, because, strangely enough, this is the first time I've ever had you on the show to myself. That's the first time I think I've ever done a show on my own. I think that's right, because you, Dawn's always been I there. I've been tricked into it. You've been tricked. Uh, have you? She, I, well, I was going to be here with Joanna, but she is so out of the country, whatever that means. Aha. Uh -huh. She left you. I tried to persuade Dawn to dress up as her, but she wasn't going to. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, all day, I've been with Dawn all day, and she's been being you. <laughs> <laughs> she's been rehearsing you. She's been rehearsing What me. kind of question was she asking you? Go on, tell, tell me. me more about Dawn French. Oh. <laughs> that sort of thing she was saying. Okay. She was <laughs> tell tell, well, me, we are. tell me more moment. about Dawn French, Dawn. <laughs> Dawn French, my friend. Um, well, we met, we did, yes, you're right, we did meet at college. And uh, it's, it's funny when we met because I think when you're a certain age, you're sort of a sort of vacuum and you're sort of not quite a real person yet, and we certainly weren't. And I was vaguely rigid and <laughs> introverted, yes. Um, haven't learned to fall over and shout then. And uh, I had a very stiff, stiff lip, which I still have actually from flute playing. Oh. Not from inbreeding, but just simply from, <laughs> from flute playing. And Dawn was terribly, terribly bouncy. Terribly bouncy. But also a sort of vacuum like me. And so when we did get on, which was um, we shared a flat together, um, we got on like a house on fire because we just played pranks or prayed planks. <laughs> that would be even harder um, on people, but funnier uh, <laughs> on people, and, and made up this act eventually. But it's all silly games, silly pranks, silly japes. What, what kind of oh, silly japes? Oh, so stupid. Go on, tell us, go on. Well, go we on. probably still do them now. Go on. Well, you know, you tie a cabbage in a bit of string and put a wig and eyes on it and bang it against someone's window down below. That's it. <laughs> And you are laughing so hard. You're laughing so hard, the string and the head is going like that. So. And people come, and we shed flat with people who worked for a living, you know? They came home, they wanted a rest. To find people strangled on the floor like that. <laughs> <laughs> find heads banging, and you get, stop it! Will you just stop it? And we get, <laughs> put a laundry basket all over you and run down the street and attack people. We thought it was hilarious. Mm. And we still do that, really. I was going to say, there's much change, yes. yes. <laughs> I think that's the joy of the relationship, actually, is that you never quite silly. grow up. Yeah, that's right. Even when we sit and write together now. In fact, we are writing together now. And you say, well, have we got anything for the Christmas special? And you look at the paper and it says, David Blaine in a box. And we go, that's it, there's the show. Let's go out. <laughs> Let's go out and do something fun. Yes. Watch a movie. Yes. A David Blaine in the Box is very silly, isn't it? It's, it's all I've seen so far, and we've watched it, I tell you, for about six hours non-stop, is a moving blanket. I've not seen him. <laughs> I've not seen his face. You can't hear anything. You can't see anything. You just this eerie wind moving this blanket in a box about. Yeah, that's, that's entertainment. That is. Well, it's better than the Salon Live. Have you seen that? <laughs> <laughs> that is something else, that's isn't it? That's watching Nail Varnish dry. <laughs> I tell you, that's really cool.